Today we're talking about the M1 Abrams tank, the Freebrum, and the men and women that drive them. This episode is brought to you by the Unified Global Intelligence Corporation. I fucked up their name in the last video, so they get two. Tank operators in the army are referred to as 19K, or 19 kilos. Marine tankers were referred to as 1812s. I say were because they just got all their tanks taken away. I have no idea why. I can only assume that Geneva found out that somebody gave a Marine a fucking tank. I mean, that's gotta be a war crime of some kind. It's like giving the fucking Kool-Aid man a bulldozer. Seriously, could you imagine being a bad guy and shooting an RPG at one of the tank tracks? Then a bunch of pissed off fucking Marines jump out the top? It'd be like when you step on a spider and all the little babies come after you. Honey! Pack your shit, we gotta burn the house down and move! That being said, the army guys are still fucking terrifying too. Now, women can be tankers too, but I've never actually met one. So we're just gonna roll with my own personal anecdotal experience. I've met a total of four tankers in my entire life. All of them are fucking enormous. They are massive human beings. And for some reason, that is a stereotype with tankers. I can only assume it's all the people that wanted to go into the infantry, and their fingers were too fucking big to fit in the M4 trigger wells. So the army was just kind of like, ah, here, drive a gun. I fucking love tankers. They are my kind of people. They like beer, and they like pizza. But they don't stack bodies. They compact them. You see, to a tanker, there's only two types of people. There's tankers, and there's crunchies. Yeah. They call people crunchies. I'll let you figure that one out. But that's enough about them, let's talk about the tank. When you combine the knowledge and experience of an American tanker with the force of the M1 Abrams tank, you have the best armored unit on the battlefield in the world. But what about the Israeli Merkava? What about the Russian Armada? Look, here's the deal. Best tank in the world goes a miles per hour, not kilometers per whatever the fuck. You see, the Abrams was made with made it to the moon first technology. But no, seriously, the Abrams tank is not the most impressive tank in the world on paper. And there's a good reason for that. It's the only tank in the world that's been battle tested for 20 years straight against guerrilla warfare fighters trying to blow it up constantly. That's 20 years of experience of finding out what works, what doesn't work, what's a waste of money. There is zero fat on this machine. Let me put it to you this way. Who would win in a fight? The big ripped guy on the cover of the magazine or the world heavyweight MMA champion? Guy on the magazine might look good, but it's not about looking good. It's about knowing what you're doing. You see, tanks are where you start to see the world's biggest defense budget in motion. And hopefully you're seeing it from the back. Because if you're seeing it from the front, you're about to find out the hard way why America doesn't have free healthcare. It's because we have to fund the world's biggest unhealthcare system. In conclusion, there is absolutely, positively, no armored unit in the world that can compete with the M1 Abrams tank combined with the American tanker's expertise. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content, would maybe like to buy me a beer about it. There's a link for that in my bio. So until next time, thank you for your service. And remember, it's never a war crime the first time.